guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about how you can learn to be a better UI designer. Okay, it doesn't matter if you're a complete newbie or a seasoned professional. You can always consistently improve your craft. You don't have to be specifically a UI designer. You, you might be a U, UX designer and you might want to improve your UI skills. It's a bit of a chicken and egg situation. In order to be a good UI designer, you have to know the tools in order to design. Applications like Figma, XD, and Sketch. Tools like this will help you to design, but it doesn't make you a good UI designer. But you can't do UI without tools like this. So I would encourage you to get familiar with the design program, but the best way to learn is by doing. So where do you start? Well, the best place to start is to actually copy. This doesn't mean that you pass designs off as your own. What this is, is a way to learn how to design, how to improve your craft, how to get better at building user interfaces. So what I would encourage you to do is to start looking at designs that appeal to you. You don't have to be an expert to do this. This is just purely your sense of what you believe is good design. Take those designs and start by wireframing them. What I mean by this is even if it's just boxes, start laying boxes out so that you can understand layout. Once you've gone through that, my next tip is to start designing the user interfaces of these websites. Literally copy the roundness of the corner of a button, the colors that they've used, the layout and positioning, just rebuild over and over again all these sites. And I would encourage you to do this frequently, no matter how good you get, just keep pushing yourself to practice UI design so that it becomes second nature. In the beginning, I would recommend starting with just laying out the pages. Then once you get better at this, you can start cutting things up and working on individual components. And the reason why you would do it this way and not design, learn how to design a button, then learn how to do a form field, is that you know you need to kind of get an understanding of how things are laid out, then you can start getting into the detail. Then you can start deconstructing design. So you can start with components and say, okay, this is a form. What needs to go in a form? All right, it needs a header. It needs some sort of instruction. Perhaps title text, input field, a checkbox, and a button to send. That's great. Once you've mastered that, you then move on to go, okay, what happens when I actually do something, what are the different steps involved in a functioning component like that? Once you've done that and you're very comfortable with those kind of bigger, broader things, you can start scrutinizing the details of design and you can start defining, you know, what is good to you? What is best practice? Now, you'll only know this and you'll only know how to ask the right questions the more you've just been designing and familiarizing yourself with common design patterns. That's why I've suggested that you start big and then you kind of break yourself down. Normally, in most processes that I would tell people to do things, I would say, you know, do one little thing and then add another thing and, and so on. And that's great. But... I think for you to get into it, you've got to see something that you're familiar with. You're not going to be able to see those fine little details that a seasoned professional will have. Now, say you are a seasoned professional, you can still go and do this exercise to keep your skills sharp, to see what other people are doing in the UI space that you might have missed, that you're not thinking about. Develop this muscle to be able to do beautiful designs on the fly. So you just keep practicing. You've got to imagine that these huge design teams at these huge tech companies have got hundreds of designers that are going and doing more than just pushing pixels around the screen. They're actually doing real research to say this is what users expect. This is what people like. These are 
things that have triggered an action. I would encourage you to keep learning all the time. Don't get too big headed and you stop designing UIs because you know everything. Another thing to do once you're familiar with the basics of UI is to start to understand why you use each UI element. That way you can understand the difference between a checkbox, a radio button and a switch. And where, in which instance you would use each particular one. Another thing that you can do is trawl through design systems and go and find all the information about why these designers have made the choices they've made behind all the components that they, they're using in these systems. By familiarizing yourself with this, you'll understand how to speak the language and how to execute on these individual components. As a final thought here, I'd encourage you that as you make these individual buttons and as you find your favorite buttons to use and input fields and drop downs and so on, you actually start saving these into libraries so that the next time you've got to do a design or when you're actually approaching doing a design, you can just leverage the very best of what you've been working on over the last however long to speed up your workflow as a UI designer. What this is commonly called is a UI kit. If you build it up over time, you'll have something so big, you could probably even sell it and make a passive income while you sleep. If you're just starting out and you would like some mentorship, please feel free to use the link below. Book a mentoring session with me and I'll help you on your path to becoming a UI designer. My name's Craig Jameson. Thanks for watching, subscribe, like, leave a comment, and stay cool.